Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another deck showcase. Today I'm going to show you the latest cans that hit Jewel Links, another OTK deck known as Silent Swordsman. So there are many builds going around of this deck, but the first one I saw was by Sam36 Return on the Jewel Links meta Discord. So that's who I'm going to give credit to and show you that deck list on the screen. I've made a few adjustments to the deck list since because I didn't really like the whole Dark World discard theme he tried to put in there, simply because I didn't own three Dark World dealing, so there wasn't really enough discard to kind of warrant the extra Dark World synergies. As I can see why they're in there, the extra draw and the extra search for another Dark World dealings can be kind of cool, but when I tried playtesting it, it just didn't really work out as I didn't really have enough discard. Maybe if I had more Dark World dealings or I based the deck more around Dark Worlds, maybe it'd be more cool to have that kind of stuff, but I just kind of skipped it. Also, I thought the Hey Tarande didn't really make much sense in the deck as your card can't really be affected by stuff, as I'll go through in a little bit. And lastly, there were a ton of other deck lists, but I don't own that many Dark World dealings or that many Into the Voids, so this is the one I suck with. So here's the deck list I've been using for most of the gameplays that you'll see at the end of the video. So how does the OTK work? Simple. You get a Silent Swordsman, you combine it with a Secret Pass to the Treasure, combine that with either two Backup Riders or two Silent Sword Slash or a Silent Sword Slash and a Backup Rider, and you just hit your opponent for 4000 damage. And what makes this OTK deck so special compared to something like Karate Man for example, is simply Silent Sword Slash makes your card immune to any card effects. So that means your opponent can't activate a Karibo from hand to stop your attack, it can't activate a Wall of Disruption to lower your attack damage so it doesn't do 4000, it can't activate anything to try and kill the card, it can't do that. And even if you don't have your Silent Sword Slash, the Silent Swordsman itself comes with an effect to negate any spell effect that targets it, so enemy controller cannot target it. So there's just so many different ways that your card is safe when it swings at your opponent for that 4000 damage. It's almost nearly impossible to stop. Plus, there's also an upside in that Silent Sword Slash is a quick effect. So when your opponent activates a card to try and destroy it, you can activate your Silent Sword Slash in response. This does mean that if you do activate it in response, that normally you won't be able to activate your Secret Pass to the treasure, but as you'll see in the, some of the gameplay at the end, sometimes it doesn't really matter as you can just put up to like 7000 plus damage on your monster and just hit your opponent's monster and do battle damage instead of just direct. The only real tip I'm going to give for this deck is make sure you look at Silent Sword Slash's secondary effect, which is when it is in the graveyard you can banish it to add one Silent Swordsman to your hand. So this can be really useful with Dark World dealings as you can discard your Silent Sword Slash to the graveyard to get your Silent Swordsman in your hand if you don't have that combo piece already. Or if you're looking to use a mallet turn and you don't want to discard an extra card from your hand because then if you have more cards in your hand you have more cards to shuffle into your deck. It can be really useful just to get the Silent Sword Slash in the graveyard and add an extra card to your hand. Also this can be used to just deck thin to make sure you have less cards in your deck and more likely to draw the cards you want. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for the talking part of this video. If you like this kind of video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, put a comment if you like. If you have a deck list you want me to showcase in a future video, feel free to leave that in the comments below and I'll take a look at it. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.